that can help HBCUs is taking that historic foundation of creating a haven for people of color in order to receive the best education they can possibly receive where it was being denied elsewhere because of their color. We excel in so many areas, whether it's literature, science, medicine, the arts, etc. But what unfortunately happens is that we take the best of what we offer and send it somewhere else. It's gone to Yale School of Performance, it's gone to NYU, it's gone to, you know, wherever, but it's not here. I would suggest that maybe we start specializing more in our HBCU so that people of color say, you know what, I can get an excellent education in the arts in this place. I can get excellent education in medicine in this place. And you choose, and you making that choice, hopefully, demonstrates your willingness to do what needs to be done to excel in that area. And I guarantee you, if we start producing schools, universities, where our students are excelling in that area, people then have to come to us. So now you combine that, that social comfort, recognizability, and make it more than about the party. You make it about learning in an environment that is safe, excelling in an atmosphere you are, where you are appreciated and encouraged, and you determine not to let the person next to you fail. Because if that person fails, then we all fail. So if you allow people with lower GPAs to come into this environment, they cannot stay where you found them in their senior year. There's no excuse for that. Absolutely none. Yes, we want everyone to be encouraged, we want everyone to be included, but everyone must progress. Everyone must be participating in the prosperity of progress. You cannot claim success for yourself while you're watching and allowing your brother or sister to stay on next to you. That should be unacceptable. 